In this video, we're going to talk about the toughest and what I think are the most beautiful paddle boards on the market today. Let's get to it. Hey guys, Wes back another review, and this time I'm finally gonna talk about that work of art that's on the wall of my living room, and it's been over my shoulder in nearly all of my videos, and that's the HD Paddleboard by Boat Boards. And before we get into it, just as a reminder, so you don't forget later, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I see a lot of you are watching the videos, enjoying the content, and that's the best way to support me. So after you're done with that, let's get to it. So Boat Paddle Boards was founded over a decade ago down here in Destin, Florida. And for with me being down in South Beach, it's pretty much a local brand to me. And I've seen it at stores and it just may be something that in other areas of the United States, maybe you haven't seen. But I'm telling you, when you're going down the aisle looking at different models and different companies of boards, these stand out. Well, Wes, what is the thing that makes this board different? Why did you spend $1,100 on this thing? And that's the Gator Shell. This is the technology that Boat has come up with to make this tough as hell. And not only tough as hell, but durable. Because the one thing you don't want is a board that looks aged. These things have beautiful patterns and artwork over the top. My board is specifically the native board and you're gonna see these beautiful colors and you just don't want that to be dented. And I can tell you, it's not the easiest thing to get in and out, which is gonna be one of the cons I speak of later because I hit the door and then on top of it, I gotta get it on top of my vehicle and whatever. But because it's so durable, I have the confidence that, you know, if I set it down on the concrete or anything, it's gonna be completely fine. And I wouldn't otherwise have that same confidence in more of the cheaper epoxy boards. Because again, I want this thing to last. So what is the patent that they have that gives them this gator shell technology? So like I've said in other videos, when you're looking at a patent and you wanna know what is the innovative concept, you kinda of look to the background. Because in the background, the applicant needs to outline exactly what is the current state of the art and what is the innovative concept that needs to be fixed. And in this one, allow me to read, recreational watercrafts are often comprised with a foam base that is covered with epoxy resin and fiberglass sanded smooth and painted. Additionally, it's often desired to secure ornate or descriptive graphics to enhance the aesthetic appeal of the watercraft. Prior constructions often use adhesive backed graphics and goes over it with an epoxy coat to protect it. As such, and this is the important part, there is a need for a watercraft that can provide a durable and aesthetically appealing recreational watercraft that does not suffer from the disadvantages noted above. And that's these cheap epoxy created paddle boards just get all scratched up, dented, and every which way get destroyed. So you're stuck spending, you know, a lesser amount, but you're gonna have to replace it a lot sooner. I, I think for me, I kind of equate this to how I justify spending for Apple computers, especially my MacBook Pro. Like currently I use a 2015 MacBook Pro that cost quite a substantial amount of money, but that was five years ago. And it, to me, it's given me my return on investment. And that's the same thing I look for in all products, including the paddleboard over my shoulder. So how did Boat achieve this with their Gator Shell technology? Well, they use this multi-layered method of creating the board and each layer just adds a certain amount of strength on top of it. They even compare this Gator Shell technology to their own paddle boards, which they do offer at a cheaper price that is made of this epoxy resin that they discuss. So they you know they know the market and they even say it's six times tougher than their own boards, which are possibly some of the highest quality boards as well. And it's comprised, and I have to read this again from the patent. In at least some embodiments, the invention is directed to a watercraft that includes a buoyant core, an upper shell bonded to the core, and a lower shell bonded to the core, 
wherein at least one of the upper shell and lower shell includes a plurality of bonded shell materials, and wherein the plurality of shell material layers include a polycarbonate-based material layer and an acrylonitrile putidine styrene-based material layer. So that at least gives you the proven innovative concept that Boat has created and has applied to their incredible boards. Besides that, they have all these like beautiful, nice things that they put on their boards. Like I love being able to insert the paddle at the front in the slot that allows me to go hands free for quite a bit of time because usually you would just put your paddle on top of the board and multiple times I've had the paddle float away. I don't know if anybody else has, if that's just me, but it happens. So that was a lot about what makes them the difference maker and why I believe they justify their price because of their innovation and them just making a super high quality product. So what are the cons? Well, like I said before, I spent $1,100 and that was a sale price that I got from a local store. They're not cheap at all. It's more than other paddle boards out on the market. Like literally there are some out there, some more epoxy based boards that are, you could probably buy two of for the price of that one. Another one, because of how this board is made, it's not lightweight. It's about 30 pounds, which makes it not the easiest because of the size of it. And it's, and even for me, um, fairly strong, I would say. Uh, putting it on top of my Forerunner isn't the simplest thing to do. So I would imagine someone that maybe lacks a bit of strength or height would have difficulty doing that. So in that case, you probably want to look at something like an inflatable or a lighter board in general. Another thing, it just takes up space. Like that was the big thing I was worried about. And I had to go for the 10 foot six board instead of the 12, which is more to the size of the person that I am due to the load. So that board holds about 240, 250 pounds, whereas the bigger board holds over 300 or thereabouts. And that means I have issues of having myself and my dog on top, but because of the size of my place, I'm rather limited. But for me, it was worth the, it was worth the compromise. I, I just use it for recreational paddling, nothing special. Now more pros that I forgot to mention. They put a beautiful, designed displacement hole at the front, which allows me to cut through very choppy water. So I just want to make sure I don't forget about that because it's a beautiful addition to the board. And that's another advantage, especially down here when you're going out in the open ocean, that you're going to deal with a lot of choppy days. And I tell you, when you're on an inflatable or something that doesn't have that, you get knocked off your board fairly easily, especially a lot of boats that come by and ignore no wake signs or jet skis that are all over the place. So all in all, seriously, there's no regrets on my end, regardless of not getting perhaps the bigger size or spending a little bit more money when I bought this board because I've had it for quite a while now and the thing looks brand new. I get nothing but comments of how beautiful it is and how awesome it is when I'm out on the water or taking it on and off my vehicle because I mean it is it's a it's a showstopper it's a head turner so that wraps it up that's exactly why I bought the HD version of the boat paddleboard again because of the innovative gator shell technology that they've applied to the board it being just an all-around beautiful board and I just I'm just happy with it so that's what I do here I share I try to give you objective things like patents to rely upon if you're trying to make your purchase and hope it helps and hope you're entertained. So I know I remind you at the beginning, but if you need another reminder, how about go ahead hit that subscribe button, supports me a ton, have fun doing this, like, comment below if you have any questions about the board or boat paddle boards, or if there's anything you'd like my opinion on that I could possibly review, I'd really appreciate it. So go do something awesome. Peace.